I wanted to share a story with you guys while we do the restoration of this 1994 specialized rock hopper sport and customize it consistent with the adventure wheels that I did in that Hudson Bay themed fashion. I've been preparing for this with the bike seat restoration video, the Ritchie Logic crank arms, and then again those custom old shovel adventure wheels. So as I do this restoration, I wanted to share with you some other things that are coming up as I tell you a bit of a story. First off though, I also wanted to thank Spray.Bike for providing the paint for this bike restoration and customization. The last two bikes that I've done, the first one I used Spray.Bike paint, was really impressed how simple and easy it was to use. And then the next painting I did on a restoration, I used just the paint that I could find at the hardware store. It was a lot cheaper, but it was a lot messier. Not quite as good. The Spray Dot Bike paint, the, the system that they have, really has impressed me, and so I reached out to them to see if they'd be interested in, in being a part of more of my YouTube videos. So thank you Spray Dot Bike for creating such a great product. I highly recommend it for those of you that are looking to do some other restorations of bikes or if you just want to customize your own bike. It's a great product. It lets you have a lot of fun. Yes, if you went to maybe uh, an auto body painter or knew someone that could do um, a powder coating for you, you might get a really durable paint, but Spray Dot Bike really allows you to do something custom, something creative and fun. And that's what I'm going to do here on this one. But, back to the story. So, I started my YouTube channel just, well, almost a year ago. I started it just after Christmas last year. And, one, I've learned a lot since then. But just before I started that, I did a bike restoration for a kid for Christmas. I did it in conjunction with one of the local thrift stores, Deseret Industries, where I found the bike at Deseret Industries, restored it, and then gave it to a kid for Christmas, and did a blog post for them about it. This year they reached out to me to do another restoration of a kid's bike for someone in the community, and this time they wanted to record it for their own YouTube channel and Facebook page. So, I'll be working on that probably in one of the next videos, you'll see that restoration. Hopefully the little girl that's gonna get the bike doesn't see it. She probably won't, not quite my demographic. But while looking for some deserving youth, I also came across another young man in the community who I felt also deserved a bike, but I didn't think I'd be able to find what he needed at the thrift store. You see, he's a young man who's just getting into mountain biking and started just this last fall racing on the local um, high school team. The bike that he's riding is a really entry-level bike and because money's tight at home and mountain bikes aren't cheap. I got together with a few of the other folks that I work with and that I know and friends and we're gonna see if we can find a bike for this young man, customize it, build it up, and give him something that would be a great bike for him to continue to race on. So, that project's one that I need help with. Now up to this point, I've debated whether or not I should start a Patreon site or find other things like that, but I've been more interested in just doing my own thing and being creative, giving things old, old things new life. But because of this, I thought if I start a Patreon site, maybe some of my subscribers could help participate in the, this build for Christmas. 
I've already got the bike for the, the young girl from the thrift store and have most of what I need to restore that bike. But I could use your help with this next one. So as you watch this restoration video, if you find these things entertaining, whether it's my axe restorations, tool restorations, my canoe restoration, or my bike restoration, you want to see more. I've always been one to help out those in the community and will probably continue to do so. In fact, the bike racing team here locally actually shared with me that there's several kids that really could benefit from a better bike than what they're racing with. And we may look at more in the future as we see deserving kids who've really shown an interest in cycling and that we can help out as a community. So, there'll be a link to my Patreon site in the description below. If you guys are interested in helping out with my channel and helping out with getting some great bikes for the community, then take a look at, at subscribing to my Patreon site and being a part of the Old Shovel community. So, that's enough for now. I'm going to let you guys now just sit and enjoy this restoration of this specialized rock hopper. I really, really like how it turned out. In fact, I couldn't wait to go ride it just because it looked so awesome. It was a fun build to do. So enjoy.
lights go out You're in my mind I close my eyes So it's just you and I So as I finish up this bike Don't forget Look for that link to the Patreon site below because we're going to be looking for opportunities to help other young men and young women in the community and passing on some of those old things that I've given new life to, to others. So if you want to be a part of the Old Shovel community, follow that link. Don't forget to like and subscribe and give those old things new life. I've also got a little thing to share with you at the end of this video. I received a gift also this week from my sister. Man, I love how this bike turned out. It looks so good. Thank you all. So to finish up this video, I received a gift from my sister a couple days ago and I opened it a little bit but I wanted to share it with you all and my sister thought as a YouTuber I was missing something I guess and she had this made for me. I think you can tell a little bit of what it is. This is about how far I got before and I thought I'd save it for you all. came with some mounting brackets also. Thank you, Laura, for the gift. It's very much appreciated. It will go really well here in the shop. So if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. Look for opportunities to give those old things new life. And I will see you on the next video. Ciao.